Just wait till I open the cabinets, babe. So oh, wait, hold on. Do I need a... Okay, wait, hold on. Hey, I'm Donna and this is Our Gold Road and today I want to talk to you about what I've been reading on Facebook. A lot of people have been asking about what other campers are using for plateware and so many use disposable plates and plasticware. And I feel like there's a better solution. So today we're going to talk about how we are trying to be eco-minded in our choices and I'll show you what we do to cut back on all that trash. Can you hear that? Yeah, that's all we can do. Right. <laughs> okay. Ignore the basketball in the background. <laughs> so pretend like we're at a campground. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We are working on three different trailers right now, this one included, and we have creative DIY projects for your campers, and we will take you on some of our road trips with us and focus on kid-friendly hikes and activities. So first, let's talk about plates. One of the big things that campers do is they use disposable plates. They use paper plates, plasticware, and if you add it up just for a small family of three, if we did a short trip for three days, that would be nine plates a day, 27 plates plus 27 plus pieces of plasticware that go into the trash. Plus, I'm not sure how many paper towels we're gonna go through. All of this trash adds up so very quickly. So in order to combat that, we have opted to go with plates that you are going to reuse and wash just like you would at home. Okay, so I found a set online and I was super excited about it. It's a wheat straw product and it claimed to be biodegradable. My thinking is, is that I'm going to use these plates over and over and over. They're not going to end up in the trash, but if they did, they would be biodegradable. Now, I did some research. Because these wheat straw plates have polypropylene in it, they're not going to break down in the compost. They're not going to it will take them years and years once they're binded with plastic like this. We decided that we would keep them anyways because it's not like we were planning to throw them out into our compost or into the municipal trash to biodegrade. These are dishwasher, microwave safe. They can We can pop them into the microwave, no problem. And I love them because they have a lip. If there's any sauces, they don't blow away in the wind like paper plates would when they're empty. And it's a set of four for the big plates, the little plates, and the bowls. So if you have a family, we love this set. You could technically have a family of eight. Oh, and before I forget, it actually does come with four sets of plasticware. Now, honestly, we don't use this plasticware. I keep them in our picnic basket, um, but you could use them and not toss them but these stay in my picnic set and we use an extra set of silverware in our trailer. Now, if you're interested in any of the products, we will leave the links to in the description below, but some of the products that I'm gonna tell you about, you don't need me to leave you a link in the description because you can get them anywhere. So not everything is gonna have links, but if they do, they will be below. Along with plates, we try to limit our use of paper towels. So you can see that we have them, we do use them, we try not to use them often. Just like at home, we have cloth napkins. Now, you can get these anywhere. You could get them at any of your stores. You can get them at Marshall's, whatever you want to do. Now, the best thing I like about cloth napkins is they don't blow away. You know what it's like when you're on the picnic table and all the paper towels or napkins go everywhere? These aren't going anywhere. And we can get away with using two sets for one trip that's five or six days. Depends on how dirty they get, but then whenever they're dirty, they just go into the laundry, we get another clean one, no big deal. Same thing with any towels for the kitchen. We're using towels just like we would at home. 
Okay, on to cleaning. Now, we know that this is probably the main reason why people use disposable plateware and plasticware is because cleaning, right? Um, partly you don't want to do the dishes and partly because maybe you're concerned about putting gunk into your into your gray tank. I would be. So, um, you know, with hot dogs or barbecue or whatever, saucy foods, anything that sticks, you know, ideally you're going to eat like a camper. You're going to finish all the food on your plate. That's what we do. We finish all the food on our plate. Um, if you do have stuff to throw away, this thing makes it super convenient. It's a food scraper and it's got a silicon edge that's curved and you can scrape everything to one side of the plate on any of the plates that have waste. And then we have a double bagged garbage sack on the inside of our sink or whatever you guys are using. This works really handy for us because the trash stays out of the way and you're going to scrape the food into your trash bag and set them in your sink. And let me show you the sink strainer that we have. Okay. So now that you scrape the food off of your plates and it's time to do the dishes, let me tell you about these sink strainers. So I grew up with these when I was younger because they're pretty common overseas in Taiwan. So I knew what I knew they had them. So I looked up for them for our trailer. Now your sinks come with these and these are so annoying to me because they get really dirty and food and then I have to clean. It's just so cumbersome. The set I found online and we'll leave the link below is a set of four. The large one fits into your kitchen sink. All of the food scraps or whatever will catch into that mesh. And after you're done, you're just going to pick it up, tap this, turn it around and tap it. You don't want to try and pop. Don't push on it to try to turn it inside out. I read that people were doing, don't do that. Just tap it to get the food out and then kind of spray water on the other side of it if you have to, um, but keep it neat and clean. Otherwise, you know, they will get kind of gunky. Now as for the other sizes that are so handy, the tiny one will fit into bathroom drains into the bath. I'm sorry, the bathroom sink drains. And then the mid-size one, you get two of the tiny ones. The mid-size one fits into your bathtub. Now this is great for me because I constantly have hair that ends up in my drain and I don't want clogs. So if I put this into the bathtub, it catches all my hair. Now I have to empty it after each time I bathe because they get clogged pretty quickly, but I don't have any hair in my gray tank. As for dishwashing liquid and actually any washing, we use Dr. Bronner's. Now, um, you can use it to wash your hair. You can wash your hands, wash your dishes. You can wash laundry with it. I will say this, Dr. Bronner's is available online and you can either buy it directly from Dr. Bronner's or you can buy it from Amazon. But after reading through a ton of reviews on Amazon, I don't recommend you buying it from Amazon and we weren't, we're not going to leave an Amazon link for you down there. Um, because too many of the buyers are having issues with getting product that is opened or not, doesn't look like the real product. So I don't recommend it. However, uh, if you go to target, you can get Dr. Bronner's for even less. You can, then you can buy it on their actual website, Dr. Bronner's website. So I would recommend you go pick it up at target. So when you look on the bottle, depending on how you do your dishes or how you choose to do your dishes in your trailer, uh, I would pay attention to the dilute list numbers two and three. Now, if you use a pump a bottle, which is, this is what we do. The dilution is one part soap to three parts water. So these bottles are a little bit less than a cup of fluid that fits inside. So you're going to put less than a quarter cup of soap and then a little bit less than three quarters cup water. Otherwise, if you fill it up to a full cup, once you screw the cap on, it will overflow. I did that. Now, if you do the, the sink way and you put warm water in your sink and then you add the soap to it, it is one part soap to 10 parts water. So you do it the way you like doing dishes. Okay. Now to drying your dishes, they're washed. You need to dry them. Um, we picked this up on Amazon. It fits perfectly over one of our sink bins. I only put it over half cause I'm doing dishes in the other half. Then I set it on this half, let them dry out. Now, if you do have a larger family or whenever you do go camping with more people and you have more dishes, we also have a collapsible dish rack. Now we got this one at Aldi and it fits a ton of dishes. 
Um, but we'll leave a link. There is one that you can get off Amazon if you decide that you want to go with a collapsible dish rack and it actually does fit in the other half of your sink. Okay. So next I want to talk about food storage. Um, I do a ton of food prep for our trips. I prefer not to cook when we're there. And so I will prep the day or the couple days before and bring our food. That way we can reheat most of it. So as for food prep, we can leave a link so you can see the product, but these are actually from Ikea and they hold a lot of food. It is a set of 17 and they're only $6. They're freezer safe, BPA free, microwave safe, though I haven't ever put them in the microwave, to be honest. Um, I do prep the food, stick them in my freezer, and that way it's cold to go right into our refrigerator whenever, before we leave for the trip. So super cheap. The smaller want pieces of this are kind of, um, to be honest, they're kind of pointless for me. I don't use them for food storage. I do use them for organizing the trailer though. So like extra batteries or screws, things like that. They go into those and then I don't recommend them for sauces because they are not liquid proof. So if they do tip in your refrigerator, you might have soy sauce on your apples. That would be our thing, I guess. So the next thing for food storage, let's say you have leftovers from your meal, right? You don't food scrape, you're not going to food scrape it all out and throw it away. So I have to show you what we do at home. Um, I bought an extra set and you don't need plastic wrap. So you can take these little silicon toppers, put them over your leftover chili or salsa or whatever. Now it, it can hold, I don't recommend that you carry it around like this, but basically you can just throw this in your refrigerator. You're not going to drive around with it in your refrigerator like this, or you're going to end up salsa on your apples, but, um, you know, store it just like this. And then when you want to, these are microwave safe. You can pop the whole thing into your microwave and reheat, not your salsa, but your chili. It is a set of five. This is great for whenever you want to heat up water for tea. Other than that, it's kind of pointless, but they have all sizes, even for your plates. So that's some of the things we do to stay eco-friendly when we're on the road. Let me show you one more thing that I think is pretty important if you have a pet. If you have dogs, we recommend compostable poop bags. Now, when I was researching, I didn't know there was a difference between biodegradable and compostable. And evidently biodegradable doesn't necessarily mean that the whole thing breaks down. It's kind of misleading. So if you care, which I do, compostable poop bags are the way to go. And we use earth rated. I keep a roll in my backpack. They also fit in the dispenser. The core does break down. It's cardboard and they have a little sticker that you can keep it tight if you don't use a dispenser. So that's what we do, but we're always learning. We're not perfect and we aren't meant to be right. It's just doing our best. I'd love to know if you have things to recommend for us to try and for any of the things that we mentioned, whether you find them online or find them at Ikea, we will leave the links below in the description. Uh, just don't forget Dr. Bronner's not on Amazon. Pick that up at Target. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our suggestions before you head out. Please subscribe to our channel and to check out more from Argold Road. Click the link above. We'll see you next time.